So we're going to be doing a Guardian check on a heart safe cabinet fitted with a digital electronic lock and um, obviously the first thing we want to do is just check the cabinet all around just make sure everything looks okay and uh, then we're going to be entering uh, the four digit access code uh, into the keypad of the lock and we're going to be looking up here at these two little LED lights here there's a blue light here which indicates um, that the code has been entered correctly and then there's a red light here which would indicate a bad code um, or if it flashes before the blue that indicates that the batteries in the lock need to be changed and I'll, uh, I'll show you where that is in a minute so we're going to enter the uh, enter the code into the cabinet and you see the blue lock or the blue light uh, there which indicated that the cabinet is unlocked so open the cabinet first of all just uh, a general look just to make sure everything's okay in the cabinet and uh, and then what we're going to be doing is looking for the uh, smart tag and this is the, uh, the, the the tag in a cabinet that allows you to uh, complete your check um, on the cabinet here and uh, and now the app that we use is called enigma a free qr code reader that you can download from the app store open this app and use it to scan the tag inside the cabinet if you have a mobile data connection it will take you directly to the login page where you log in with your username, which is simply your name, and then your email address. Once you hit save, this will be saved on your phone or your PC or your tablet, and you should only have to enter this the first time that you use the system. Once you've entered and saved your login details, you're presented with a checklist. All you need to do is work through the series of questions and answer them yes or no by sliding the toggle from one side to the other. As we've entered the cabinet and we know that the lock works correctly using the access code, we can slide the first question to yes. We were looking for a red flashing light on the lock when we entered our access code, as this would mean the batteries needed to be changed. We didn't see it, so we know the lock batteries are okay, so we can answer this question by sliding it to yes. If you do see red flashing lights on the lock when you enter your access code, this means the batteries need to be replaced. Locate the battery holder on the inside of the door, slide down the cover and replace the batteries with a good quality set of alkaline or lithium batteries. Then put the cover back on and slide it up and lock it into position. The next question is, uh, did the light uh, inside the cabinet come on when the uh, cabinet door was open? So again, if we look up underneath the inside front face of the cabinet, you can see clearly there the, uh, the light strip is, uh, is illuminated. So uh, we can answer yes to that question. So the next question asks if there are any uh, items placed on top of the heater. This is the heater in the cabinet, a small black box with a, a grill on the top. Again, there should be no items placed on top of the grill. Um, this area should be clear for the air, hot air from the heater to circulate uh, around the defib and keep it warm. And any items like the resuscitation kit should be placed underneath the defib um, at the bottom of the cabinet. So the next question uh, concerns the defibrillator itself, making sure that it's uh, functional and emergency ready. On this uh, heart sign pad 500p, we're looking for uh, a green flashing LED just here. There we go. So that indicates that it is, uh, is ready. Is your uh, defibrillator silent? So again, listen to the device. Um, on this one it will beep about every four seconds if it is in fault mode and you will also get the red LED up there. So again, depends on your device, each one has a different fault but most of them will beep um, if they're in fault mode. So the next two questions concern dates on uh, pads and battery within the defib. Um, this will obviously uh, vary depending on what type of device that you have in the cabinet. This is the uh, the heart sign uh, pad 500p and what you can see when you take the defibrillator out of the case is that there is a uh, date label um, on the pad battery pack and as the heart sign device has a single pad and battery cartridge there is only one date code so on this one it's the uh, 1st of March uh, 2020 so there's uh, there's plenty of time left to go on that. Um, so for both those questions, pads and batteries, we can uh, answer yes.
final question is, uh, is there a resuscitation kit in the cabinet? Um, you see clearly there is a, a resus kit in here. If you've answered no to any of the checklist questions, you'll see this red note asking you to provide more information. As there is a resuscitation kit in the cabinet, we can slide this across to yes. However, in the note field, you can also send us important information that you wish to let us know about your cabinet. For example, if you've changed the batteries in the lock. Also, there's a useful checkbox which will allow you to receive a copy of your report via email. Check this if you'd like to get a copy for your records. Once you've completed the checklist and added any notes, you can complete your check by clicking the button below. When you submit your report, you'll get this confirmation. If you'd like to also send us a photograph of your cabinet or anything else we might find interesting, please hit the Choose File button and either select a photograph from the library or take a photograph on your device. Once you've done that, hit the Upload Image button. It may take a few seconds depending on your data connection, but we will receive it attached to your report. All cabinet locks require periodic maintenance. Um, we recommend uh, GT85, which is a, a PTFE-based spray. Very important not to use anything oil-based like WD-40, as that will uh, clog up the lock and also attract dirt. So basically spray, liberally spray the whole of the lock with the GT85 spray, and then just using a, a soft cloth, wipe it all over to remove any dirt and grime, and get it nice and clean. And then as a final step, just give it another light spray and you can leave that to dry. As a final step, just to take pride in your uh, life-saving cabinet, just give it a, a general clean all over again. We just recommend a soft microfiber cloth um, and some, some clean water, um, nothing abrasive, no cleaning chemicals, anything like that. Just give it a good clean, chase the spiders out and uh, keep it looking nice and new.